I find music a useful distraction. A focus tool. Keeps the inner voice from wandering. The Killer is a movie I've been highly anticipating ever since I saw the first trailer. A movie about a contract killer starring Michael Fassbender and directed by David Fincher, you already had me as soon as you offered those details. But now I got to see the movie tonight, and I have to tell you, it delivered. Let's talk about some of the things I loved in this movie. But one is the opening sequence. It challenges you. In the opening sequence, Michael Fassbender's character tells us that in order to be a contract killer, you have to be very patient. You have to be able to sit there with your thoughts and be comfortable with that, knowing that your target may not come for hours or days. It's amazing how physically exhausting it can be to do nothing. If you are unable to endure boredom, this work is not for you. And initially I'm thinking, okay, cool. He's telling us about his job. The movie proceeds to keep us there, listening to his internal monologue for a very long time. I was actually getting impatient. And then that's when it hit me. This is exactly what he was talking about. The genius of this scene is that while he's talking, while we're getting annoyed with him, or at least I was, we were also learning a lot about him. And I thought that this was a great way to set up our character because what happens to pretty much spur along the rest of the movie when he makes a mistake, allows us to understand how he's thinking and feeling in that moment because we've already spent so much time with him and he's told us as much. I'm actually curious to find out how many people stuck with the movie during that scene because it does test you. Waiting and waiting and waiting and I'm waiting for this movie to start. I also like the fact that the killer didn't talk much. Now, you did hear him throughout the entire movie as an internal monologue, but you never really saw him speak to many people and say many words. Everything was in his head, which was what was set up in the beginning of the movie. So it allows the audience to be used to him just essentially talking to himself, philosophizing to himself. Popeye the sailor probably said it best. I am what I am. One of the things I really enjoyed throughout the run of this movie where he does kill and take out a bunch of people is that he always stuck to his principles. When you watch other action movies, the action star makes a mistake, they show mercy for example, and they get played in a situation. He's on his game this entire movie. He does make a couple mistakes. He anticipates that someone's gonna take a certain amount of time to die while he's torturing them and they die a lot quicker than he expects. Three nine gauge nails. Early middle age non smoker, but 180 pounds should last six, seven minutes. Shit. And he's like, crap, I did not expect that to go that way. And that brings a little bit of levity to the movie, right? It's not all serious all the time. The kills are indeed brutal. You have a lot of headshots and you have a lot of other ways that people die by his hand that are not the most inventive ways, but they're effective. There's one big action scene during this movie. That's one of the best fights I've seen this year. It's a one-on-one -on -one fight that lasts somewhere between five to 10 minutes. And initially I was like, man, I wish I would have seen more fights. Most people aren't equipped to take him out. And that's something that he actually mentions in the beginning of the movie when he says that people who are able to turn off their moral compass and just get the job done are like one in a million or some other ratio that he mentions. Let's talk about the style of this movie, the aesthetic of the chapters, how they look, how they appear on screen. The opening credits is really engaging yet off-putting at the same time. It reminded me of the opening credits of the 90s and the 80s where they would take a long time to kind of get you in the mood of the movie that you're about to watch and I really did enjoy that aspect. And finally, the other thing I liked about this movie was the fact that it wasn't setting up a cinematic universe. This is an open and shut case, if you will. It felt like a complete story. 
Is this a movie I recommend? Yeah, absolutely. I think you should go to Netflix, press play, and just enjoy yourself. And if you find yourself being as impatient as I was, just remember, it's all for a good reason to set us up for this story. Well, all right, y'all, I'm signing off now. It's 5 a.m. Let me know in the comments, did you see the killer? Did you enjoy it or did you not enjoy it? And I'll see you guys next time.